Thanks, Mr. Presiding Officer. Um, let me congratulate Gillian Martin for bringing this uh, motion to the Chamber. And she gave an excellent speech, except for about the last few words of the final paragraph. And, uh, and I also want to thank uh, Fergus Ewing, who gave an excellent speech. Uh, again, except for a few choice words uh, mixed in uh, along the way. And, but, but Karen Adam and Neil Gray, honest to goodness me, I mean, in, in all honesty, and including Neil Gray's comments about the tidal stream sector, which, by the way, are so misguided, it's almost unbelievable. Um, I disagree completely with the motivation behind today's debate, as has become apparent from the contributions from certain members of the SNP. The, 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 the conversation about the UK government's support for CCUS clusters should focus on environmental benefits they will provide. And sadly, the motivation for today's debate comes directly, I'm afraid, from the SNP's one-page playbook, stoking up... I wish I could! Honestly, you have no idea how much I'd love to give way to the member, but unfortunately I'm not allowed to. Uh, st uh, oh, You're perfectly I? willing, I'm lose, perfectly able lose, to take an intervention, Mr. Kerr. I'm, I'm telling you, you will still be restricted to the yeah, exactly. See, the, see what the, so, st so it's all about stoking it. This is the one-page playbook of the SNP. Stoking up grievance against the UK government. This narrative is and always has been false. So rather than of the SNP's inward-looking approach, our efforts to protect the climate must be about cooperating Operation. We must work together with our partners across the UK and countries around the world. COP26, hosted by the UK government in Glasgow earlier this month, showed the challenges and frustrations that cooperation can involve, but it also showed that through hard work, patience and determination and cooperation, things get done and will get done. It produces positive outcomes that put us on the path to protecting our planet. And it's with the same spirit of cooperation and the determination to do what is best for our planet that I certainly approach this debate and this motion. As part of the UK government's net zero strategy, four CCUS clusters will be operational in the UK by 2030. And it is world leading. Amazed, but not entirely surprised to hear the Greens discussing the need for us all to be so conservative about these things and not make any strides forward because no one's ever done it before. The attitude that was portrayed by Mark Ruskell, I'm afraid, is exactly why the Greens are on the fringes of political debate in this area. Two of these clusters will be operational by the mid-2020s and the other two by 2030. And last month, the UK government's energy minister, Greg Hans, announced that the first two clusters will indeed be in the East Coast cluster and Hynet. But the ACON project in Aberdeenshire has been designated as a reserve site in the first phase and will continue to receive UK government support. And being designated as a reserve site also leaves the ACON in a promising, I would say, advantaged position to be selected for full support in the second phase. Determining which clusters would be selected was always going to be a competitive process based on objective criteria, and um, Paul Sweeney has certainly not seen the scoring, by the way. And while it's disappointing that the ACORN project will not receive the, uh, the, 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 the full support that we all wanted in the first phase, it is fundamentally misleading and self-defeating for the SNP to say that the UK government have abandoned Scotland. All that language about betrayal and the stuff in that letter that was sent to us was outrageous. The important thing here is meeting the carbon goals we all agree on, not necessarily what part of the country the projects appear in and in what order. When capture, carbon is captured and stored, we all benefit, whether we are in Scotland, England, or indeed in any other part of the world. To reduce carbon reduction targets to tit for tat, pork barrel politics is to betray the science that sits behind it. We must act locally, and think globally, I can sense you're about to tell me I have no more time. So let me conclude by simply saying, it is my hope that in the second phase, and we will work across this chamber to this end, that the ACORN project will be part of the next phase and will get full support. The technology deputy presiding officer deserves our support. It can be a major contribution to our carbon reduction uh, targets, and it deserves Thank more you, than SNP, Mr. Grievance Kerr. and Spend. Thank